Hey guys, uh, so we're going to go over um, how to uh, fix a uh, bad inrush current lim limiter that's on the hose heat circuit. The main purpose for this in for the inrush current limiter is to absorb abnormal uh, voltage spikes that could come into the machine from your power source, either from your onboard gen or shore power or um, build building power, wherever you're getting your your uh, power to supply to the machine. Um, this inrush current limiter will absorb the voltage. Okay, when it goes bad, it's going to look like it's burnt. It look like sometimes that it exploded. Okay, so that means is that it's it's um, absorbed the most heat that it can take, um, and it goes bad and it burns out. Okay, so uh, that's the operation of that inrush current lim limiter. So um, I'm going to show you what happens uh, when you turn on your machine, okay? So you're going to turn on your main power, okay? You're going to turn on your control power, okay? Um, and once you turn on that control power switch, um, the red light that's on the bottom of the hose transformer box, that red light should, should turn on, okay? That means that you're getting primary voltage uh, to power up the hose transformer. If that red light does not come on, okay, you're going to have um, more than likely, 99% of the time, that inrush current limiter is bad. Okay, so that's one thing that you have to definitely look for and make sure that that red light comes on. You have your control power on and that red light down on the bottom of the hose transformer, which on the classic machine is right in the front in a box on, on the front of the machine between the two heaters. If that red light is not on, here's your inrush current limiter. Okay, if that um, inrush current limiter is burnt up, okay, you have to remove it and I'm going to show you how to jump that out to continue working. You can still have hose heat. All right, guys, uh, we showed before uh, where the location of the uh, inrush current limiter was on the classic machine. Now you take this cover off on our PH2. Okay, the hose transformer is down on the right hand side. Okay, you remove the access cover, powers off, right? Okay, and on the PH2, right on the side here is where the inrush current limiter is. Okay, it's right on the side here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the inrush current limiter and jump out um, the wires in order to stay working with your with your hose heat circuit. Okay, so you're going to remove the inrush current limiter. Now, mind you, I'm doing this on a bench rather than on the transformer, so you can see a lot better for what I'm doing. Okay, so you're going to take that out. Okay, now if you don't have a spare. If you don't have a spare um, inrush current limiter, then you're going to have to jump the wires in order to stay working. Okay, so we're going to take um, uh, whatever wire is on the bottom. On this one, it's 15A, okay, which is more than likely going to be the wire that's that's down there. Okay, we're going to we're going to remove that. We're going to move that wire and we're going to put it on the opposite side from where the other wire was or is. Okay, loosen that screw up a little bit more. Okay, we're going to put that wire in there. Okay, we've now we've now jumped out that line. And we can, and now we have primary heat going to the hose transformer, but we've removed the bad inrush current current lim limiter. Okay, this is not a, this is not going to be a safety hazard. Nothing's going to overheat. Nothing's going to over, over temp. If you continue to have bad voltage coming into your, coming into your machine, um, then you're more than likely going to trip the breaker for the hose heat circuit that's up in the console. But this is how you jump out the inrush current limiter. 